It's Friday morning right here at the New York Stock Exchange. Investors are trying their best to figure out exactly what direction will the markets be trading in when this, the final trading session of the week, opens right behind me here at the big board because for this past week, we've seen ourselves quite the interesting roller coaster ride. A lot of downs, some ups, lots of seesaw action. As a matter of fact, U.S. stocks, they're under pressure as selling in tech continues. In addition, Dr. Anthony Fauci telling CNBC that changing the definition of fully vaccinated against COVID is, in quotes, certainly on the table. The White House's chief medical advisor said there's no doubt the best protection against the infection is two shots of either Pfizer or Moderna's vaccines and a booster shot. Meanwhile, in the Forex market, the euro dollar is where we begin. That's trading under pressure. The British pound U.S. dollar pair trading under pressure as well, while the dollar yen under pressure in focus. The pair pulling back on the support at 113.10, but remains under pressure below the resistance at 113.70, and below its declining 20 and 50 period moving averages. Short positions below 113.70 are favored with targets at 113.10 and 112.80 in extension. The Bitcoin dollar intraday sees the relative strength index oversold the pivot point, 47,840, while the downside prevails as long as 47,840 is the resistance, and gold sees its intraday support around 1793. Gold remains on the upside above its rising 50 period moving average and above the support at 1793. Long positions above 1793 are favored, with targets at 1821 and 1828 in extension. This while silver sees further advance.